Well, today I had the honor of marching alongside a community fed up with violence. Victims, mothers, leaders showed up to the march in the name of peace, in the name of justice, in the name of harmony. NBC6 reporter Jamie Grola was also at that march. He is live in Miami with more on the day's message. Jamie. Yeah, Jawan, so far tonight, no reports of shootings in Miami-Dade County or Miami. A perfect cap off to a successful march for peace in Miami. It brought together residents, law enforcement, and families of victims of gun violence. Shoulder to shoulder, neighbor to neighbor. Tonight, while getting soaked in the rain, Miami shared a loud message of peace to silence the gunfire that sometimes plagues South Florida. I have to keep my son's name alive so people can remember him and his case. Kimberly Wallace wanted to be part of that message. Her 19-year-old son gunned down in Cutler Bay in 2017, two miles from his grandparents' home. His case still unsolved. It's very painful, lonely nights, guilty conscience thinking something you did could have been something I could have done to protect him more. Wallace's story all too familiar to too many families. Today's Stop the Silence Against Gun Violence March dedicated to children killed by bullets. At least six since 2016, two of those this year. The kids range from three to nine years old. In a show of strength, both the city and county mayor marched together with the same message. And we're not going to accept gun violence in our community, that one life is one too many. This is about the community. This is about the community saying they have had enough. And when the community comes out, we can change things. And in a sign of solidarity, the U.M. football team marched alongside residents, head coach Manny Diaz. I think it's important that everybody bands together. I mean, I think that's the whole deal, right? We, you, we see it in football when, when everybody comes together uh, for a common goal. It's amazing what you can accomplish. All right, now we don't have an official count of how many people participated, but it is safe to say that between the law enforcement community, community activists, and residents and families of victims, that at least a couple hundred people marched in the rain today for a mile and a half. Born live tonight in Miami, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.